the human races exist. Big races and small races exist. The race concept is purely a biological concept. The population of current Italy is in the majority of Ariana origin and its Ariana civilization. There is no, now a pure Italian race. It's time for Italians to proclaim themselves frankly racist. It's necessary to make a serious distinction between the Mediterranean of Europe, Western, in a part, and Orientals and Africans from the other. The Jews do not belong to the Italian race, the purely European physical and psychological characters of Italian should not be altered in any way. We are in Italy. In the 1938, in Italy were promulgated the laws of the race. Italy was fascist and Mussolini in power. Who did not think like him was persecuted, exiled or killed. But I don't want to talk anymore about Benito Mussolini. I will talk and I will tell you a story, a story of a woman, this woman. Her name is, or better, her name was Nuria Alinur. She born in a village in the deep Somaliland at the time of Benito Mussolini, when uh, Somaliland was um, a colony of the fascist empire. She took care of grazing the animals in the bush. She was infibulated, like all the girls in her village. And as she grew up, the village chief, her father, wanted to marry her with uh, an old man, only because the old man had got a lot of camels. And uh, she, the night before the marriage, escaped. Was repudiated from her village and uh, go, went to the capital of the Somali, Mogadishu. When she arrived in Mogadishu, no Giovanni, an Italian man, and uh, while he worked in his, garage, in his garage, she studied, became a midwife, a pharmacist, and opened a clinic, one in the capitals and another one in the village of origin, and where that welcomed uh, her as a benefactor. Three of her sons, around the age of 16 and uh, 20, uh, left Somali and set up a family in Italy. Giovanni fell ill and had to return in Italy. Years after, he died in Italy. And when she came in Italy for the Giovanni's funeral, the situation in Somalia crashed because of the civil war. Family surgeries, land, homes, friends, adieu. All, everything was lost. So, I introduce you an emancipated woman who had fought bravely for her own independence, and now we found ourselves in Italy as a refugee. Many years after, she applied to obtain Italian citizenship that was recognized by the decree of the President of the Republic, Italian Republic, in the July of the 2015. Unfortunately, however, Nuria died one year earlier, on the third day of March of the 2014. When, as mayor, I was handed the document of their citizenship, first of all, I cried. Then, I smiled. Strange story, sad story, Let's see. 
So, in, um, in the 2013, I, I felt like something like the history called me to run as a candidate, or better, uh, to be the candidate of my party, the Democratic Party, to run as a mayor of my city, Spilamberto. And what do you have to do when history calls you? So you have to or call a doctor <laughs> or uh, answer and say, yeah, and start to run. And so I choose running. And uh, so I was the candidate for the primary election. And uh, everybody gave me by loser because uh, I was against uh, all the nomenclatura of my party. And uh, it was really not easy because uh, I received a lot of pressures. For example, an uh, old politician uh, tell me, you have to hide your sexual orientation because you are gay and now we are in Italy. And so it's not good to be a mayor and, and don't hide uh, homosexuality. But I replied that rather than not being myself, I prefer to lose. And so, ready to lose, <laughs> on the evening of the second day of March, of the 2014, with my supporters, we went to the main square of our city to make my congratulations to who I thought could be the winner, my competitor. But instead, my citizen trust me, and I was proclaimed the winner. I was really and really happy and really and really surprised. And so, when the journalists asked me who I dedicate the victory, I answered without thinking, without any doubt, that I, I want to dedicate the victory to a woman who told me to have courage, to include people, and work to make my dreams come true. I answer that I want to, to the journalist, that I want to dedicate my victory to my grandmother. And just because the history really has fun playing with our lives, the day after, while I was on my bike, coming back to home, my mother called me, phoned me, and said, and told me, hurry, because uh, grandma was serious. From there, shortly, she will die. Which is my grandmother's name? My grandmother's name was Nuria Alinur. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Grandma. So, how was it possible in Italy after I had read the rest is low and so on? So, yeah, in the time where my, mom, my grandmother was born, uh, there was Mussolini, yeah? And Mussolini in power, and we did not think like him, or disagreeing, or exiled, or killed. And let me share with you that I'm really emotionated because uh, this is my father's, uh, my grandmother's picture that I, get, I, I have in my house. And uh, it's really a big thing that now we are all together in Vienna thinking about her. So I'm really glad and really proud. So really thank you to now and to our organization. Thank you. So, uh, we, don't, we didn't think like Mussolini was persecuted. And yeah, also it happened for guys like Palmiro Togliatti, Lelio Basso, Giorgio Lapira, Giuseppe, Giuseppe Dossetti, persecuted during fascism. But for me, people like them are a good example because during that dark season, they persevered in their values and their dreams, and growing like wet underground in the winter. And then they sprouted in spring, when in 1946, 
they become the fathers of the Italian democratic constitution, writing the third article of our main law. And this is the article. All citizens have equal social dignity and are equal before the law, without distinction of sex, of race, of language, of religion, of political opinions, of personal and social conditions. It is the task of the Republic to remove the economic and social obstacles, which, by limiting the freedom and equality of citizens, prevent the full and development of the human person and effective participation of all workers in political, economic, organization and social life in, of the country. So now you can understand why, when I received the citizenship of my grandma, before I cried and after I smiled. Because I received it in my office, like as a mayor of our Italian Republic. And... So now, so in, this, in that time, I smiled because I understood that, yeah, Nuria, Palmiro, Lelio, Giorgio, and Giuseppe are dead. The dream is not. I think that, like farmers, we have to continue to seed, to sow. Everybody, in our different roles, roles following the example, and thanks to a zone with hope before us. Maybe it's real that winter is coming, yeah? But really, after the winter, everybody knows, we know that we always have the spring. And so, prepare next season. Prepare next season. Spring and start to prepare it right now. Thank you. Thank you.